Hey, it's Drew Bennett from Ben Spark Family Adventures, and I am playing Lego DC Super Villains, and I'm playing now the Aquaman Movie Pack Part 1. There are two parts to this. Part 1 came out on the 4th of December, and Part 2 is going to come out on the 8th of December. Part 1, we're going to do a little playthrough of that. So here I've got Aquaman in his uh, Gladiator, and I'm going to go to the map. I had a hard time figuring out how to get to these, to these levels. And then I realized, oh yeah, um, I needed to go through and have my system update so that I could actually get this level. And the level's called Ring of Fire, so if you scroll all the way down to the level select and you get to Ring of Fire, that will bring up the Atlantis Arena where you can play the Atlantis level. I'm going to play as Aquaman, so you can see Aquaman. And then um, I'll choose him. This will actually choose a couple other people for me because you can actually jump back and forth to other characters uh, within it. So in this, we're gonna get a little backstory from Aquaman himself about uh, about him and uh, his family and, and all like that in Lego form with Lego com comedy. So we'll see that little bit here and I'll uh, show you that as soon as it loads up. We've got the mother box there, just uh, scrolling around. We're waiting, waiting, waiting for that to go through. Uh, this, is a, this is a fun pack. There is uh, a whole bunch of new characters. Hot so, chocolate. Here we go. So there's Ooh, a little bit about the and movie. And a cookie. This should not give you any up, real spoiler. How's it going? Than what you Open your trailers. gills and let me tell you a story. Okay, so it's the story of two worlds meet. I am actually, and against all odds, I'm getting not along sure if this, uh, pretty is Jason well. Moa actually doing That's this where I come from. Or not. The link uh, between both worlds. No this. pressure, right? But he did put a really fun uh, little So Volko was the one who taught me DLC the ways pack. of the water. So it's cool. <laughs> so ah, we're just seeing a little bit of, of Aquaman growing so, up. So, turned out my half-brother, King Orm, so King wanted Orm. to conquer the surface world. So much for brotherly love. Not that people here were any nicer. Hey, are you Aqua Woman? Mira. Her <laughs> name was Mira. That they do. She did not they want to crash on. between the surface and the fun. sea. She thought I could help. And after all the mayhem so caused by Orm on the surface, we're gonna head down I just below had the surface, to swim her way. And we're going Didn't to think me getting captured was part of her plan. Gladiator tournament but hey, there. a fight to bring peace? Fight bring it on. And so this fight's kind of interesting. Man, how do we I'll got give Batman this much. down here? He sure knew how to draw a crowd. And I could switch Shame over to Batman him, if I, wasn't I wanted. To move play. Nice. Check out that giant uh, squid there doing some music here. And I turn the music down because sometimes you get copyright uh, problems with music. So I, I don't have the music up uh, while I'm playing this today. So we have to fight King Orm. Um, and I think when you get... You know when you stand around and you just do nothing in the game? Uh, then it looks like a dolphin will, will come. And you have to get out of his way, which I did not do very well. Again, I did not do very well. Until he kind of tires himself out. And then you get to get like a shot or two in. And then you get to get out of there before he, you know, powers up again. And he kills you. So you got to avoid them. The, the nice thing about the Lego games is, yeah, you can get killed over and over and over again, but then you just, you know, come back. So we can fight a little bit here until he starts spinning around. And he still, he can get me no matter where I'm going. i got to try to avoid him a little bit better, maybe swim out of his way. And then find him. Get down! There we go. Yeah. A couple of punches, and then avoid. Maybe try to zap him somehow. Some way, some way. Just keep. It's like a run and jump, run and run and fight, run and fight, run and fight. And here he comes again, spinning around. Ah, he killed me again. Oh my goodness, I can't get out of my own way! <laughs> so, you take the fight to him a few times, and then he decides, okay, well, I'm going to try a different tactic. 
and he's gonna try a different tactic. Like the idea of losing oh. And send me some Square. more, send some more things out. Thinking to get past those attacks. So what you do on this one is the mirror is gonna help out. Put up this dome here. So we've got these volcanic like rocks that have come up, and I can use my spear. My usual uh, attacks move. weren't working. I had to try and think of something else. Yeah. So if you hit those, that that'll take out his protective bubble. And you can do it again. As long as he's right next to it, then you get the protective bubble. Back and forth and back and forth. And you keep doing this a few times. But eventually he's going to wise up to you. And he's going to send some things to attack you too. Like these sharks. So, but the sharks you go, you know, you only have to hit them once. You can hear them kind of coming. And then, so once you hear them coming, you just nail them with one shot, and they they disappear. Now, if I want to, because I'm in the free play mode, if I want to, I could switch over to Batman. You know, Batman's the other character I've got going on over here, and apparently I can't do that right now. I thought I could, but no, Form is back with a different fighting tactic. We'll switch back over here. And in this fighting tactic, I haven't quite figured out the right way to do it, like the first time we Finally, I was starting to get something. Alright, so I, I had to get a couple of these... A couple of those jellyfish. I guess I did it right this time. So I hit the jellyfish a few times so that the jellyfish would zap him and then he ends up coming in to confront me. Notice the gladiator stuff is off of Aquaman at this point. You know, just for a sec I thought he'd give up on that. So now we're taking the fight to form. We gotta swim around and try to get as many of these I'm trying to get as many of the rings as possible. I have yet to get like true villain level on this. So I do have this fight going on, and it's it's kind of a it's a it's, it's actually a, a fairly short level. I'm gonna be a little bit better at avoiding these things. There we go. So you're still chasing Orm all the way through. Yeah, there we go. So back down here, chase him through. And all the while, try to get as many... As many studs as I possibly can. So Orm's gonna be... Even after all coming. that, Still wasn't over. <sighs> I had a feeling it was going to be one of those days. This looks like trouble. Good thing I like so, trouble. I'm going to avoid form and avoid the waves he's sending at me. Or I could target it so that these waves hit things like that building, which will release some more studs and will also kind of knock him out a bit to fight form. So, for a moment now, I'm not going to fight Worm. I'm going to switch back over to Batman. Hopefully I can do this now. And Batman's in a whole other area. He's actually in the throne room. And as he's in the throne room, there are some things that he can do. So there's other things that your other character can do to help out in this level. Uh, if you just play as... If you just play as Aquaman, what's going to... You just play as Aquaman. What's going to happen is you're just going to go through, fight, form, and then. This isn't with exactly it. in my wheelhouse. Yeah, yeah, Someone yeah. else will need to try it. I'm looking for you. Where did you go? Oh, there you go. There's a lot of stuff in this level. Which my range power levels are looking good. Let's get there's to work. There's a lot of constructs that he has to make. Being landed. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, uh. 
to get as many of these studs as possible, even though I know I'm not going to make it to true villain level or, you know, in here. Whey! So some things smashed up, and what we're building now is giant speakers. Get some music going here. It's giant speakers. It's interesting that like, different different characters have different uh, things on their faces uh, as far as whether they're breathing apparatus or not. And since you know Green Lantern can go out in space. Does he usually have something that covers his mouth on the space? Not, I'm not sure. But in this case, he's got a breathing apparatus. Let's smash up a few more things, get some more studs, and build something else. So from here, we're going to build another construct. And we're also, again, the screen lantern again. And it's a giant boot. And then it's gonna smash up this wall here. And once it smashes up the wall, looks like we're gonna build some more speakers on this other side. And that happens when we get some music blaring. Or since I turn the music down, we're not really getting any music blaring. But it definitely has like a rock and roll score to this these levels, you know, Aquaman in this movie and, and Jason Momoa as a character uh, is definitely, you know, more rock and roll. Okay, we got a picture of Aquaman. Well, let's just make that a little bit better with our pal the Joker. Good news! Joker's back to brighten up all your miserable lives. <laughs> we'll just spray that down as the Joker. Take our selfie. You know, Joker's got his, his breathing apparatus on. Yeah. And let's see what else we can smash up and where we can go from here. Because eventually you get through this part of it, and it's time to go back and finish up the fight. Alright, so here. Who can help us? We'll have Cheetah help us. Let the hunt begin. Hmm. And she's going to do her sleuthing thing. I'll deal with this if there are no objections. A few more stunts as we look around. We got some jellyfish over there. And something to build. Back to Green Lantern again. Boy, oh boy. I do like that when you select, when you're standing in a spot where a character should be, that we need the help from a specific character, and you just have to switch to that character, and you don't have to go looking for him. So there's sometimes where I, I have to go looking, and, and sometimes I have to come on. Tap A, but I just destroyed everything, so. Whoops. Let's get those studs first. There we go. Now we can go. We can have just a little bit faster building. And again, Green Lantern. So Green Lantern's gonna build a cannon. Shoot the bus through that wall in the back there. Break a bunch of stuff down. I if I can do anything. Oh, I can. Ah, I wasn't sure if I could do that. Get rid of those jellyfish. Can't. I can't hit the fish. The fish, they're. You know, you can't hit them at all anyway. So. What we got going on here? Smash a few more things. Oh, something to build. 
So you get the build spot. There we go. And it looks like there's a whole bunch of spots where you have those, where you use the grappling hook. And what's nice is that Green Lantern, he could be used for this entire this entire part of the level, which is funny because, you know, it's this is the Aquaman level, but most of this is being done by Green Lantern. And it looks like so we've got a couple of these things that will light them up. Uh, it's either something being fired up here. Ah, and there are pal Joker again. Let's get back over here. Let's get the Joker. Because the Joker can throw one of his exploding pies. And blow up this little spot here. But if we do, we'll find him. I was building something as Joker. So overall, just using two characters through this whole spot, you know, pretty, pretty simple to find everything. Although there is one or two things that I haven't gotten, and I'm not sure if that was things that I could have gotten during the race, or not the race, but the chase against uh, Orm. Quite a few of these in this one. Uh, once they have all been done, I believe I would have gotten a gold. You, you get a gold brick at that point, but since I've already gotten it, I just get a new, new uh, stud. Some more studs. I need to get some more points so that I can get the true ability. And that's basically what you do in this part of the, the level. There really isn't anywhere else you can go as far as I know. You can try to smash everything possible here, but there isn't anywhere further for your character to go within this level. So we're going to jump back over to this area. And I'm going to get out of the way as Orn tries to do his superpower attack. Uh, he actually is probably going to get rid of that superpower attack. And let's see, I'll build something new. And this new thing that I'm going to build is to help me defeat Orn. Let's just get as many studs as possible before we do that. The Joker right here. The Joker to actually face the right way. And we will switch back to back to Aquaman. this horn and knock out Orm. And here we've gone and beaten Orm in the first level of the pack for DLC for Aqua, the Aquaman movie. 
the next one comes out tomorrow. <laughs> so that's one. You can sweet do additional hunt. levels after this. Good luck tomorrow. on your date, bro. That'll keep the surface and safe for a while. So it's just one quick level that you see and play here. And so now we go back out. See what we got through the ring of fire. I know there's got to be some more to it that I need to uh, check out, but I did not get true villain. Sad. Oh well. And let's see. There's a couple of those. I've, I've only found four out of the five in that one location, so I need to find one more of those. I've got the picture. I've got two out of the four. So if I find that fifth... I find that fifth uh, thing and then also get true villainy and I can get all of the I can finish it 100% I don't know why I haven't finished it 100% what I'm missing there but I'll try that eventually in another time and going back to the whole level now we can use all the characters from the Aquaman movie that are included in the DLC pack I'm gonna just go through and show you those different characters that we have that were included here in the DLC pack. So if we switch it up here, let's go down to the bottom. So we got Swamp Thing. So Swamp Thing gets added to it. Even though Swamp Thing is not part of the Aquaman movie or anything, he's just he just gets added here in that DLC pack. We got Aquaman Gladiator. So whether or not they're going to put Aquaman in some other uh, uniforms or stuff with the next portion of the DLC pack, we'll have to wait and see. So we got Aquaman, then we've got Mira. So Mira, come up here. She can she can spray water. She can create a kind of a, uh, a force field around herself. And let's see, you can also choose Orm. It's so a new first Orm. edition in the comic book store. And he's one of those ones that can throw his trident. And we have Black Manta. So Black Manta, he's a sword, he's carrying a sword. And he's going to get me in trouble with me in a second. And we have uh, two, uh, King King Nereus. If the flesh is wearing so headphones, King Nereus is and there. Moves faster than the speed of sound. Can he hear any music? And then we also have Queen Atlanta. Uh, Queen Al Atlanta. So it's Queen Atlanta. Oops. No, I was you want to try me? Nothing can stop my cold. Oh, I do like that Style Captain Cold is voiced by Steve Blue. Really <laughs> uh, Alright, so that is it. That is the DLC pack for Aquaman. The first level that you can get. It's in the Nintendo Switch. It was a lot of fun. It's Drew Bennett from Ben Spark Family Adventures. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter as Ben Spark, Facebook.com slash Ben Spark Family Adventures. And you can find me playing videos all the time and making videos and playing video games. Thanks for watching.